In this exercise, we will be creating a new project group and a new project. So with Syscad open, if we click on project and then we go to new project group, we'll get this dialog box. The first step is to decide if you want a steady state or dynamic project. So in our case, we want steady state. And then on the left, we have this window which shows us a whole lot of configurations that have already been pre-configured by Syscad. So each project group uses its own configuration. In our case, we want to use the tutorial configuration. So if we go down in the list, we'll find it down here, tutorial. So if we click on that, that's going to be the group that we want to create a copy of. A new group name, in our case, we'll call this Syscad Training. And Syscad will create this folder in the Syscad Projects group. Then we have to create a new project and we're going to call this TUT Test 1. So we have our new folder, Syscad Training, and in that folder we have our project TUT Test 1. And we can now say Create Group and Project. And Syscad will create that new project for us in the new project group, Syscad Training. And to show you what Syscad has done, it's created this folder called Syscad Training in Syscad Projects. And in that folder, there are two folders now, CFG Files, which is your Configuration Files folder, it contains the SPECI database, and the new project that we've created, TUT Test 1. Back in Syscad, you can now begin to configure your project. And in the next section, we'll start adding a border in the flow sheet.